any of these guys out of the No, I don't That really would not be a rematch for them. But if uh for Air Summer he's looking to get some rematch against uh Sansko. But we're moving into this this uh first game. Now what are your thoughts on this matchup? Because both of these are very tall, slender ladies, but they play very differently and how sort of what's like for instance, if you're Zelda, what is the game plan here? Keep your feet on the ground. I mean that's kind of the mate that's kind of the general game plan against Bayonetta, period. But Zelda has a much stronger ground game than Bayonetta does. I mean Bayonetta is a lot of her tools, a lot of her burst options come from Things like ABK uh, confirms with uh, falling up bears, uh, neutral airs, etc. And you, some of your best ground tools, F tilt notwithstanding, though all three hits did connect there. Uh, some of your best ground tools are things like down tilt and heel slide, which either are super committal or don't have as much range as Zelda does. Nice. Though Tejus is keeping it even by not trying to play into Air Swimmer's game plan. Got away oh, with it. Oh, wow, that. Facing outside of that Nehru's love and able to get some nice damage here. So for the most part, even though the ground game, as you said before, does seem to be normally very much in Air Swimmer's favor, hey Juice, he's getting these single hits and really able to do a lot with them, able to convert them into uh, eventually a stock right there, just menting to find that back air. And oh, yes, that is a thing. I love Zelda Upbeat. Zelda Upbeat is one of my favorite moves of all time. So silly. Why did that work? <laughs> like, there's so many things that we, we've we been watching. It's like, oh, I guess, you know, yeah, down smash it. It's like, yeah, it's kind of risk-free. I'm just going to up be in neutral, and you're not. You're just going to stand there and take it. Like, okay, I guess. <laughs> who who who, is, who would think that the that the Zelda would go to you? It's so punishable. Only a fool would up be into you. I mean, sometimes the level zero options just kind of work out, and that's <laughs> an option that could have been punished, wasn't. I love that so much. <laughs> it's so silly. I love that move. Uh. Positivity. That's a positivity win. Though I don't think Tejuice is quite feeling the love. Uh, oh, yeah, waiting, that is. Waiting for Air, uh, Air Swimmer to I'd... go for Nehru's love and finish the pun, but okay. He's clearly not listening to Kam. Um, oh, so I comment that Bayonetta doesn't have super early kills like Zelda does with that upbeat. But no, absolutely. If Bayonetta gets the opponent into the right position, just with the right two moves in the right spot, it can she can still delete stocks. Yeah, she's one of the fewer characters in this game with a more developed and defined combo state which is extraordinarily important against when you have a character with low airspeed and in general low mobility despite the native combo breaker that zelda has and the powerful out of shield option this is why you keep your boots on the ground ladies and gentlemen in this case i think zelda's wearing heels either way when you're caught in the air against bayonetta she'll swarm you and combo you to death or at the very least for 80. But if you keep yourself planted, you have so many tools to counterplay that, particularly at Zelda. I mean, we saw Farrar's wind take stocks, and now we see lightning kick. Uh, not out of shield. She went but... for the... Actually, that was Rar Bear, right? Or was that? No, that uh, was a double. But that either was... one. Yeah, just recognizing the lag and just getting that kill. Our steel lag Bear is slightly thing. stronger, right? Zelda back air slightly stronger? Uh uncertain but we can look that up i'll check for you guys Three, two, thank you one, we're slightly fat i thought they were the same frame did it uh i don't think they are i could be wrong about that and if i am i, I think it's like I'm, one frame i'm literally difference. checking for you guys thank you uh, we can <laughs> use darling um oh now I'm just thinking of you. You remember the opening of Bayonetta 2, where she's in like the white coat and the really extravagant hat. They are identical. They are identical. Okay, that's yes. good to know. Either way, it looks like Tejus is trying to not make this game identical to Game One. As every time he's landing on the ground, he's witch twisting out of there. <laughs> Okay, resets. 
Okay, this is where Bayo can really start to make her money. Uh, by having prominent burst options, you can start to make Zelda feel pressured to pull out her normal tools. Uh, no DI on the down throw leads to uh, up air, but shielding? I'm, I'm waiting for the kill. <laughs> I know. So, like, Bayonetta up tilt, we've seen how it's one of the best. Oh, that should be it. Oh, getting stomped by Zelda like that hurts so hard. Not only does the move do so much damage, but the hit stun means that she can basically convert it into anything she wants. Oh, gross. Okay, I mean, oftentimes teleport recoveries are easy to two frame, but that's certainly a big way to do it. Uh, Teju's keeping it even, and despite the early lead he got, he seems to be fighting at it a little bit of a deficit, though trying to make his way back thanks to these low percent strings that Bana has access to. One, two, three, four up bears coming all together. Oh, I guess because to avoid the end lag went which time, but. Right. Now we have about. You know, look at this. Solid lead. Once again, a solid lead for Tay Juice, but he had leads before and they disappeared because if he's not careful, Zelda hit so, so hard, especially with the out of shield options. So if he's not, if he's not careful and he gets too hungry, uh, especially as you get closer to the kill, you're like, I gotta hit him, gotta hit him once. And if he's shielding in those right spots, then it could actually spell the death. Could spell Tadeus' death if he's not patient around Zelda's shield. I feel like when you're playing a combo oriented character, it's a great call out from Lit. It's something that every Bayonetta does uh, to at very least some extent. Are you dead here, really? No, no, no. Town City's too big. No, 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 no. You died! Almost. And the answer and the favor return? Okay. <laughs> I, I think that part of it was that um I don't think Air Swimmer has really been going for Phantom at the ledge like that, and you can definitely see why. That's probably not a great option. Uh, for the most part, there hasn't been that much witch time, despite the fact that normally if the Phantom is fully charged, sort of time it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like any sort of autonomous projectile. Uh, if you know the timing, it's a free counter. And if you know the spacing, then that would be a free punish. Your air dodge already used. That's a free Din's fire. Unforgiving is Air Swimmer in a lot of the chances where he gets to put on damage. Despite the long combos that Tejus has been going for, he's seemed to learn from his winner side set where he hasn't been dying off of any inch, any single hit or any combo starter and when he gets his punishes those punishes are big and for lots of damage or even stocks that's it's a difference maker when uh, when we saw air Swimmer playing against sansko it felt like he would a lot of the time respect what bowser could do in disadvantage and in the end, that meant that he wasn't able to take a lot of his hits as far as he possibly could have. Here, it's not the case. It feels like Air Swimmer is not afraid of uh, of Tai Juice at all when he's, you know, when he's knocking him around. He's like, you yeah, know, I can do this all day. I don't have to worry about anything. So, it's if you are Tai Juice, how do you actually instill fear in your opponent? How do you get them to hesitate in the middle of their combo? Uh, finish your combo. A lot of the times his combo has been ending, not with only ending at like 90, 80%, but not ending in the stock. The reason why Bowser dictates so much or controls so much fear is because he can kill you at any moment. Like the drop of a hat and you can be gone. Air Swimmer doesn't have that level of fear because he knows he can make up the damage, but he can't make up stock deficits nearly as easily against a highly mobile character. But as long as Teju is uh, is finishing his combos only at damage, then that's gonna be, that's gonna at the very least be a calming sensation for Air Swimmer because he can get back. Not there though. <laughs> and that's the turnaround that he needed. You were mentioning how he needs to have instill fear by having his combo game just be that scary. And 
Oh, that's gotta... There have to be fear receptors in uh, Air Swimmer's brain that have begun firing now, because what is that combo you can start with? It was something so light. It was the gentlest of touches, and it ended with him being carried all the way to the blast zone with nothing he could do but die. You know, it's the reason why Bayonetta is still so scary. Because if you don't respect her stuff, and if you don't respect the how far she can go, then yeah, she's gonna blow you up for it. It's... It's not respecting her that leads to games like this, where now that Teju's has a stock lead, Air Swimmer can start uh, losing, or overextending, leaving many more openings, and freeing up Teju's full combo extensions. But as I say, of course, he misses the back air. <laughs> B again. Air Swimmer was kind of fishing for it for a while, but that time he got it out of shield, you know, recognizing the punish that he had available to him. Once again, I love that move so much. <laughs> the up piece. Oh, okay, there we see it again, the uh, going for witch time on the... Um, on the Phantom, which does seem, it even is helpful when uh, when Tejus is the one at the left, because he does get invincibility for doing it. And if uh, and if Air Swimmer isn't careful, he might get caught up in the actual slowdown of the witch. That's twice now. He's missed up tilt back air, which, while up tilt may not be the most reliable of new moves, it does reliably confirm into back air. And now all of a sudden that massive lead and momentum that you gained yourself in the start of this game that's all wiped away and you're back in the same spot of man how do i kill you oh for three and he's gone <laughs> that was i mean there wasn't many like huge packet losses or anything like that like the connection looked pretty stable throughout it he just missed think, his... i think that was uh it's 10 30. i gotta go to bed <laughs> when you miss your your kill confirmed three times in a row it's like okay like I, you got it dude like i'm not playing as well as i need to to win this yeah game. yeah 